Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Today's video is going to be about laser treatment. Today I'm going to talk about PCOS. I have been getting questions about PCOS um, and how I deal with it. And we're going to get into some little information about it. Now I have PCOS. I was told that I had this when I was 22, I believe. I was living in Tallahassee, going to school, and one day I went to the doctor because I wanted to start cleaning up my face because I had a bunch of dark spots and a whole bunch of stuff under my neck, which I will show you all. We'll get into that in a minute. But, um, yeah, they told me I had the PCOS, and let's see what I got here. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's also known as polycystic ovaries. Uh... Let me see. Um, the PCOS stands for, oh, I already said that, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's actually a misnormal because it only refers to one one of many cysts. Cis, uh, cis, uh. Gosh, y'all, excuse me. It only refers to one of many symptoms associated with the disorder. It only affects 5 to 10% of all women, and it's one of the leading causes of infertility. Now, I know some people have infertility issues when it comes to this PCOS. You may have it or you may not have it. Now, for me, when I got with my husband, which was back in 2006, in January 2006, uh, we met each other and we were trying to have a baby within that year because it just felt like love at first sight, y'all. So in love with my husband. But anyways, let me not drift from this. But anyways, we tried then from 2006, 2007. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm lying. <laughs> not 2006. 2009 is when we met. January 2009. And we got together. And we've been trying to have a baby since then. So 2009. Okay, that's 2010, 11, 12. 2012, y'all, is when I got pregnant. And let me tell you how I got pregnant. Uh, I think I was weighing like 230, two, 230s or something like that. And I started working out with a personal trainer because I wanted to look, to look good for myself. My own personal reasons for my health issues because in my family, you got a di diabetic runs in my family, with diabetes running in my family, heart, uh, heart, what is it? Strokes. Uh, let me see. Heart, my mom passed as a, a, for, with a, for a heart attack. And I don't want none of those symptoms. So I try to keep up with myself as much as possible to stay healthy, to stay fit. Because now I have kids to live for. And I am only 30 years old, y'all. 30. And I'm a Libra. Yes, I'm a Libra. Okay. I have kids to live for. So I need to be around a lot longer for them. So, long story. Oh, that's my child running outside with his daddy. I'm like, what is that noise? <laughs> but, okay. Um, I'm rambling. I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Back to the PCOS. So, I don't want to be, I want to be healthy. So, let's start with how my face looks. Get my phone out too because I want to show y'all my before and after pictures. I started getting my laser treatment in, I think, 25th, 2014. And I went through Kaiser Permanente. I was able to get with the best doctor. Oh my gosh, I love that woman so much. But it was an older, an older lady. Very, very fun. And she's very funny. She put through my... Sometimes this can go through your insurance. You can check with your dermatologist on this. But she was able to write mine because PCOS is a medical condition. It's something that's going to keep occurring. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get rid of no matter what you do. It's just unbalanced hormones that we as women produce in our body. Whether it's too much estrogen uh, testosterone, whatever it may be. I don't know which one of my levels I produce so much, but they're, they just unbalanced. They just never get on track. But people say birth control can help that. No, honey, birth control was not helping me. Okay. 
birth control was causing more facial hair for me and i just feel like it was just coming like tremendously like i shave every i don't wax i don't tweeze i don't pull pluck none of that i was always shaving and the shaving see if y'all can see this in the mirror i just got laser done today so uh if y'all see some swelling or something but it may not be as bad as this was before for me because i've been getting treatments and stuff but I still have a little bit of stuff in my neck, but I don't know if y'all can see that. But all of this was very darker than what it is. You can see my skin tone here and then how the com the discoloration starts here. So I'm still getting this cleared up and worked on. And hair used to grow all here, this whole patch. Hair used to grow there and I was shaving it. Hair grew right here, as you can see on my chin. You see that? Like a beard. That's just so disgusting for a woman. And then hair was growing here. So I had like a mustache, grow teeth, um, a little bit here. But this part, you barely saw that. It's like, it was like very light. <sighs> My lighting in here is awful, y'all. I don't know if it's because I'm holding the phone. My tablet that well, what? And then... Hair, of course, we have sideburns and it grow like that, but it was growing here. Miss Kenya back there crying, y'all, but it never grow nowhere up here, but just here and then here on this side. I don't have no issue with nowhere else on my face, but just those areas, y'all, but... I, I might take y'all on my next treatment in January so you all can see how the process done. If there are a lot of cameras up in there. But that's basically what I have so far. Hang on, y'all. Let me get this Kenya. Okay, here, here. Alright, y'all. Sorry about that. Got Miss Kenya together now. Let me show y'all some pictures. Hopefully y'all can see my pictures. I got... Okay. Y'all see that? My face was clearing up. The hair was removed. Let's go to the next one. Sorry if y'all can't see this. This is when I first got the treatment done. You can see little specks of hair that was still there. And then the discoloration that was on my face. And here's under the neck. I had the bumps too, y'all. So I started getting the injections that was helping to get rid of those bumps. Because none of those creams or none of that stuff was working for me that I was trying over the counter that I got out of the store. This when I was in the laser treatment room. You see how my face was looking, y'all? Oh my gosh, that's just hideous. Here it is again, y'all. This, this was the very first time. Now, when you get the gun, your face will swell up a little bit. Like this, it'll look like you got chicken pops or something like you got something going on but hey that's normal when it comes with the treatment y'all so don't be alarmed with that when you, if you see that done with your face but um it don't it don't last that long when you go in there and you get the laser treatment done y'all um it's like a, a pop a rubber band and you can smell the laser every time it pump you in the face like that <laughs> It pop you in the face, but it don't hurt. It just to each his own. If how much you tolerate pain, and if you can push a baby out, if y'all had a baby already, I'm sorry for the ones that have not had one yet, but you will get there. Don't think this PCOS will stop you. It, it can do infertility. I'm not a doctor, y'all, so don't go off of me. I'm just saying my experience. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get Miss Kenya again. Okay. 
You want to shoot the video with mommy? Okay, y'all, we're back. Miss Kenya's in the video with me, y'all. But, um, where was I? Don't think that you all can't have a baby. See, produce one of these precious babies. Yes, you can. You just have to keep trying. For me, I started losing the weight. The moment I lost the weight, a baby popped in. But not this one. The first one was her brother. But again, with her, it happened with her again. I, I started losing weight and eating right. And she popped up. So, it was one of those magical nights with me and her dad. Gosh, that was, that was a magical night how she came here. But I'm not going to go into that. Y'all y'all don't want to hear about that. But anyways. Um, and I do know that some people out there are losing weight. And, you know, they're saying nothing is happening for them. But you don't, don't work too hard on it. Don't think about it so much. Because when you don't do it so much, like one of my friends, she was having a second issue. She couldn't get pregnant either. And guess what, y'all? she had a baby last year so it's like once you have that one baby it's like you start popping them out but me i ain't popping them out because this right here she is the last one for me i can't i can't too many too many complications y'all let me tell you about my complication with both kids i was high risk and if y'all follow me on my channel y'all see when i was carrying her high risk um preeclampsia is real y'all it is real. Don't think. I know. It, I know it may sound scary. I ain't trying to scare nobody, but you just have to watch what you eat. It's like a lot of stuff involved that you have to watch what you do. High blood pressure, and it was only that I was getting the high blood pressure because I was carrying them. Right now, I don't have high blood pressure. It was only for pregnancy. So yes, I did tie my tubes because I don't want any more kids. I don't even want to have to deal with these little babies. <laughs> these little babies as an infant stage because the sleep and all of it uh, no mm -mm, i can't do it so i'm glad and i'm very thankful that i have two kids and i was able to get my two kids i'm so grateful for that y'all but if i want another one i'll we'll talk about adoption and every time i mention that to my husband he be like <laughs> he's trying to leave the room or he'll turn the music up on me <laughs> i'm like hey we need somebody for them to play with because you know we just live though. We just moved in this neighborhood, so it's very hard to make some some playmates over here. But I'm not saying I want a child, another child right now. I'm just saying down the future, you know, once they get older, maybe. But not now. I ain't thinking about that. And if I do without, they better already be potty trained. Come potty trained, cause I ain't dealing with no doodle draws, none of that stuff. <laughs> all over again i want them potty train and then some people say they the ones that's already five and got knowledge those the gross ones that when they get older nah i don't believe that it's i don't know they might be then they say kids are messed up at, no no i'm not going off that i don't care i'm going to love that child and i'm going to take care of that child so i don't care i like kids right mama right miss kenya give mommy notes give mommy notes give mommy notes <laughs> well y'all we all i don't know if i did i show my yeah i did show my face but but i went to ideal image at first i was going to kaiser but i switched insurance so now i go to ideal image and the cost of this depends on what you want done right now they have a 70 percent off when you get your package so i pay about 140 Excuse me, I pay like 147 a month. They could either take it on the first or the 15th of the month. So it's up to you how much you want to pay. This package for a full face cost me about uh, to 2000 y'all. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it's 2000 about 2300 to get this done for a full face. And I'm getting nine treatments. And it's the first few treatments are spaced out at an eight week um schedule time so you get the treatment every eight weeks after that it turns into 10 weeks and they do that because they say they they um the laser the laser machine is is just that deep you know it gets and then this hair it kind of thins out and falls out because see it was thicker when before i left when before i went there and now that i got the treatment done it's kind of been falling out a little bit as it goes but i was told to not 
shade yet. Although I still see it all on my chin, y'all. That's disgusting. Now I gotta go to work like this on Monday. And but I can shave it off on Tuesday, which I'm definitely gonna do. But anyways, I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think no more. People like my family members. My auntie, oh my gosh, she you call me Harry Scary. I don't care about that. Girl, that don't faze me. I'm grown now. I ain't little, that don't hurt my feelings. Anyways, as I was saying, uh seven treatments. I mean, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Nine treatments. And that's all you got to do. Oh, also, sun exposure. Can you put my box down, girl? Do not be in the sun. When you get your treatment, you better try to put a hat on or cover it up with a towel. You know, throw the towel across your face like a mummy looking. Because any type of sunlight exposure will start burning your skin. And it will mess up your skin husband calling but i'm not gonna answer but um then you want to also see a dermatologist to start getting your skin back so i have to schedule my dermatologist appointment do not use hydrocortisone hydro, hydroponine because i was using that at first the hydroponine what it does trying to get that to stop okay the hydroponine it kind of interferes with your laser treatments to where it tries to, um, hold on y'all. Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, I'm done. Sorry, y'all. I'm back. Gotta just unlock the door. And so, I think that's about all, y'all. Today is hair day. So, me and Miss Kenya, we about to wash her hair and give her some little ponytails. Right, Kenya? Yeah, mommy about to get her sewing done. I'm about to sit down and do this hair to mine because it is overdue. Um, if y'all have any other questions, about PCOS, please put the question in the comments down below. Do your research on it as well. But um, I'll be posting videos for the next, since I said nine treatments, that's the next nine months. You'll see my videos on PCOS on how my laser treatment is going. And um, what else? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was talking about the creams, Retin-A. Let me see if I still have that cream. Job, but... No, y'all, I don't have it, but when I go back to my dermatologist, I have to find a new dermatologist because I'm no longer with Kaiser, but I will put that in the video of how I'm doing my creams, and I'll show you my routine on how to uh, apply your cream and when to apply it and when you cannot apply it because you cannot apply these creams the day or like the day of your appointment because that will cause issues for you in your treatment with the laser treatment so you have to wait a few days i think it's five three to five days before you use the retin -A, before your treatments and afterwards you have to wait two days don't quote me on that i have to get the right time time frame for y'all but once i start getting my treatments my creams and i go get them then we'll go over that in the next video until then y'all thank you for tuning in thank you for watching us and we're about to be out say bye miss kenya say bye 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 youtube
to give a little smile. Make your mommy baby smile. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. All right, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>